Hello, McGill students and parents. We are proud to present to you the recipients of our Academic Excellence Awards in middle and high school. These are the students who have earned our top academic accolades, and they deserve our praise and recognition. One thing that I loved about your class and about you especially is your enthusiasm uh, for learning in general. Uh, for the subject of Bible. Keep that up, keep that enthusiasm. It was a great joy to teach you and your other students in that. Congratulations, Josh, on a great year in Bible. The way that you have studied God's Word this year has been such a blessing to me. Just seeing how you have learned um, and hidden God's Word in your heart. And I know that that will be with you for the rest of your life as you continue to serve God in all that you do. Adonaya Gomes, just thank you for going always the second mile in academics. You did excellent work, and I'm sure your parents are also very proud of you. Justin Davidson, Systematic Theology, you did great work all year, 100% average. Congratulations on that for maintaining outstanding academics all year long. You just have a habit of practicing excellence. Gabriella demonstrated a real mindfulness towards studying God's Word this year. This was particularly evident in the way she was able to synthesize biblical concepts and research with personal application in her writing. It is very clear that God has changed Hannah's life. Hannah is hidden with Christ in God, as Colossians 3.3 says. Her true relationship with the Lord and her thirst for God's Word and her respect for God's Word is what sets Hannah apart. The whole point of biblical worldview is to take the Bible and apply it to what's going on in the world and have that shape your worldview. Amy consistently uses scripture to make her points and argue and put things into perspective and calls the class back to that. Congratulations, Savannah, for a great year in English. The way that you love the written word was very apparent this year in your reading and your writing and all that you did in English. Congratulations, Josh, on a great year in English. It was nearly perfect with a 99 average for the year. Colette McClenahan is a voracious reader and an excellent writer. Justin is being awarded the Academic Excellence Award for ninth grade English for his commitment to exemplary writing and to thoughtful analysis when we're talking about varying forms of literature, our classroom discussions, and also his ability to add in a layer of analysis and thought that really has exceeded my expectations oftentimes. Noah Bennett always goes above and beyond the requirements of his English assignments, perfecting them to the best of his ability. Emily is a creative writer and an insightful reader. Her ability to analyze literature reveals college level critical thinking. Madison is a college-level writer and an analytical reader. She excels at drawing profound connections between complex texts and biblical principles. Congratulations, Rishi, for a great year in history. The way that you have dug into learning more about people's lives thousands of years ago in ancient civilizations has been encouraging and great to see over this past year. My friend Joshua Barnes, uh, congratulations on your outstanding academics in History 7. You made it a habit to practice excellence, and you always showed interest and great diligence all year. Way to go, Josh. Dia Patel in History 8, both sections, you had the highest average, your work was superb, and there was a note of excellence and diligence and all of your assignments that I appreciate. Thank you. Nicole is always the first one at class. Even when we're online, she's the first one to sign in. She's always eager to answer questions and be involved and, and just brings life to the class and class conversations. Noah Bennett, you are getting the award for 10th grade global and for academic excellence. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to give this to you. Um, your work has been exemplary all year. 
Felicia asked the best questions possibly of any student I've ever had. She's always asking great questions and looking for ways to enhance a conversation or learning uh, and to push her, herself to learn more. Madison Lilienthal, um, you're getting the award for government uh, for academic excellence. Um, you get this award, um, not just because you have great grades, which you do, not just because you work hard, which you do. Um, I think a lot of it though comes from your passion. You've done an incredible job um, all year long. You're going to get the award for academic excellence in economics. And really what pushed it over the edge for me to make sure that you really needed to be recognized this year is, you know, when this whole COVID thing began, you know, you, your work didn't just stay the same. Uh, you elevated it. Inesis deserves recognition because she takes respect, awareness for others, godliness, confidence, humility, attention to detail, and hard work, and she puts them all together. Nico, thank you for pursuing science so avidly this year. You always are focused, willing to help others, asking questions if you need, and wanting to do your best on all your assignments. Congratulations for receiving this award for Academic Excellence in Science 7. Yeah, congratulations on receiving the Science 8 Award. You always pursue science with the best of your ability. It's something you're definitely that and you certainly definitely work hard to do your best on all your assignments and are always more than willing to help your classmates. Congratulations. Aaron is receiving the award for academic excellence in ninth grade science for his commitment to thoroughness but also to pushing into scientific areas of exploration and the thought that he put behind his writing and the class discussion and lab practicals for his ability to be able to extend into a topic further and for an overall commitment to excellence in all of his classwork. Elijah showed right off the bat when he came in nearly the first day of school and sat down right out front. To me, this means that he wants to learn. And I look forward to having him in advanced biology next year and in physics when, I'm, when he is a senior. Mia Pascasi, she's worked very hard to be one of the top students in chemistry and in this year in advanced biology, really showing her desire to learn the subjects. Madison Lilienthal, really showed her desire to learn science in every year I had her as a student in 10th grade honors chemistry, top of the class, in 11th grade advanced biology, top of the class, and this year, of course, in honors physics. Bella deserves recognition for her true desire to learn, not just get 100%, although she often does that. Bella is elite in her ability but she's also elite in her desire to learn and to know more. Josh, your consistent effort in math this year has been so impressive. You always try to go above and beyond. You take your time, you show your work, you do things with excellence and seek help when needed. Nice job this year. Dia is one of the hardest workers. She's always there to help people in class with their work. Um, she's very deserving of this award. and She has a very kind, giving heart. Aaron it strives for excellence. He works very hard to learn new information. He exceeds expectations in class and is very deserving of this award. Christian Janelle is receiving the Sophomore Achievement Award in Mathematics due to his drive to excel in challenging classes outside of McKeel. He has spent countless hours teaching himself higher level math and taking college level classes. Toby Vizdak is receiving the Junior Achievement Award in Mathematics for his consistency and excellence throughout the year. He showed particular aptitude for challenging topics such as limits and calculus. I'm so proud of Madison and all of the accomplishments she had in class this year. Um, she worked really hard in calculus to do well and to understand everything, and she brings great joy and fun to the classroom. For seventh grade student who has had a consistent 100 average throughout the entire year and certainly has shown me that he's serious about his work. So, congratulations. For eighth grade, um, this student has been very, very diligent throughout the year and just turns his work in on time. I never have to ask him for anything. And he 
is at this point with a 99 average. So congratulations to you too. In ninth grade, it was a little bit more difficult. I had three sections, so I had to narrow it down to one. Um, and the one cho person that I chose has a 98 average, and again, a wonderful work ethic and um, just a pleasure to teach. And for 10th grade, I've had the students since uh, 7th grade, so it's going to be really hard to know when this is your last year with me. I'll miss you. Um, but he has certainly shown himself to be an excellent student. A couple of weeks before this pandemic hit that, he had the idea when we were going to pray about going around the room and having everyone say one nice thing to each other. And what was really great is that they included me in that as well. Hi, everybody. Madison has been so, so wonderful at painting all the murals in our school and all the thousand point balls. And Savannah, she's gone above and beyond with her artwork. She's also talented outside of school. This year, Art Excellence Award goes to the Lilienthal dual team, Savannah and Madison. Hannah and Abby are in both select choir and general choir, and they have gone the extra mile for the fine arts and the musicals. Thank you so much for your hard work. I am so pleased to recognize Tahila for her amazing vocal talents. She stands out in choir as a leader of her section. Vocals are always spot on, and I'm so happy that I have another two years to work with her. Congratulations, Tahila. Jeremiah has advanced so much musically this year that his ability and talent has truly blown me away. Not only is he an exceptional percussionist, he also demonstrates leadership by helping his peers during rehearsals and also conducting the band. Congratulations, Jeremiah. I have watched Madison develop into an amazing musician over the last three years. Not only has she played piano and jazz band, she also has taken on the challenge of learning percussion, conducting, and has evolved as a songwriter. Her energy and love of music is contagious among her peers, and I am so grateful to have been able to work with her. Congratulations, Madison. Delicia is able to tackle all of her academic endeavors with grace and humility. She could have reason to boast of her accomplishments, but instead she treats those around her with extreme kindness and respect. It is always enjoyable to be in Delicia's presence, and that gift matched with her exceptional discernment will take her far. Madison sets goals for herself and achieves them swiftly. Whereas many seniors look to make their senior year an easier one, Madison took college classes in addition to her senior coursework. She is a determined and gifted young woman who I am certain will find success in her next journey.